Welcome to my chronic booth here at SMT Connect. Uh, delighted to be joined by Clemens Jorgen. Nice to see you, Clemens. Hi, Trevor. Nice to see you. Okay. So, we're following up on what we saw initially at Apex earlier this year, which is the the My 300X. This mm -hmm. is your three uh, uh, pick and place machines in a row with a, a total capacity of 100,000. Sorry, 100,000? 100, 100 kcph, yes, exactly. 100 kcph. Exactly. 100 kcph. Um, 100 kcph. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, this, this is exactly what we're presenting here. What we introduced at Apex in the US uh, earlier this year, and especially for the German or Central European market, this is the perfect solution. Yeah? It is a line, we call this HX, HX, EX. That mm -hmm. means on two of the machines, we run the high-speed heads, mm -hmm. and the single pick head, we run on the, thir on the third machine. And this gives an increase that we can offer 100 kcph line. And we did calculations and we talked to customers. And the first experience we have here that they can gain real speed by 40%, up to 40% more than we could offer previously. And this is something what customers really were asking for. And this is what they like, keeping Micronics flexibility, but gaining the speeds they need in the market. Right, okay. So you've got two of them set up then as, as chip shooters and one as an odd form placement you, system? You can say that way, yes, exactly. Right. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, so you say there's a big market for it here in Germany. Uh, is that because, is that for high volume applications or what about the, the companies that are doing high mix? It's, it's, it's more the mid-volume market, so there's a lot of customers uh, doing high mix, mm -hmm. but even in these uh, good market conditions, these high mix customers grow more and more in volume. Yeah. They were asking for solutions to keep the high mix flexibility, but being able to support their customers' higher demand. Mm -hmm. That means there was natural demand for flexibility and speed, and this is what we can provide with this machine. Right, mm -hmm. okay, super. So we're looking at it here, it, it actually, in a line configuration almost. So can we move up the line and have a, 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 another a look at what's, uh, I think, the SPI system, which is further up the line? Sure, okay. let's, let's walk along. So this is obviously the, the SPI that you acquired from uh, through the VI technology acquisition. Yes. Um, you claim it's the best in the business. Why? Yeah, the SPI is, is a very accurate machine. And I think one of the strengths is the ease of use. Mm -hmm. And now the total line concept from Micronic makes more and more sense. The first thing you need to look into is that we can combine now the balanced twin My700, which is speedy enough to support the HX EX line solution. And when you then want to increase more process stability, mm -hmm. then you combine this with an SPI. And the SPI together with the My700 brings what you need, process control, on the on the solder paste, mm -hmm. and this is what we can provide here. Okay. And even when you break this down and combine the My700 with an SPI, we brought new software functionality in, which we call the repair and add dot function. Mm -hmm. You can imagine that you may do solder paste on the screen printer, then you put the SPI behind, and then you may recognize immediately that you may have missing dots you may see that you have to add on solder paste, and this is what the um, SP identifies and informs the jet printer what to do to add on or to repair. Right. This gives better first pass yield mm -hmm. and more process control and process stability. Right, right, okay. But in this configuration we're looking at today, uh, Clemens, it's actually following your, your dual uh, My700 jet printer. So in this case, the SPI is looking purely at a jet printing application. So it must be looking for different things um, uh, in, in the jet printing application than it would be in a sensor printer. Uh, so what specifically does it look for there? It's specifically looking for missing dots, mm -hmm. for missing volume, specifically trying to help to keep the process stability and uh, to help to avoid any, any failure that right. you may miss. And then, as you know, we combine the SPI with our AOI at the end and links this together with our Sigma Link software. Okay. And this gives customers the true possibilities to collect the data along the line and analyze the data. Mm -hmm. okay. And gives them the right um, proposals how to optimize your, um, your performance of the line mm -hmm. to increase your first pass yield and to increase your process stability and performance. So, just to clarify, that the the SPI is, is communicating with the the uh, the jet printer 
and stencil printer if there's a stencil printer yes, there. It, it can come, it can talk to Is us. It, does it connect for, uh, down the line to the um, picking place or does it connect to the 3D AOI at the end and that communicates with the picking place? The SPI connects uh, with the AOI mm -hmm. via our Sigma Link software okay. and they both collect their data mm -hmm. and they both analyze data and they both make improvement recommendations. Now, a lot of customers, as you say, put a jet printer behind a stencil printer, but there's now a few customers looking at make, trying to make this a pure jet printing process. And for that, you've actually put two together. So let's take a walk up and look at, at the combined yeah. machine. Yeah. This is um, our, our option because we know that customers are asking for a high flexibility and um, this is why we had to think about how can we support with the jet printer the speed demand of our pick and place line. And the combined solution which we call the twin jet printer gives the speed. The software balances both machines, in, in fact it balances both the four heads we have here mm -hmm. and this gives speed and this gives the process control and this avoids uh, stencil demand in the factory. That means when somebody wants to keep flexibility high speed and be stencil free, mm -hmm. then this is the perfect solution for them. Right. So uh, there you go, that's, that's the, the dual um, My 700 option. Mm -hmm. So just to round off the portfolio today, I believe we've got a, a coating system at the other side of the booth. Let's take yep. a walk around and have a look at that. Good. So this is the uh, MYC50. This is the MyC50. Uh, you remember that uh, we, in uh, two and a half years ago, we have acquired Axon, um, mm -hmm. one of the shooting stars in dispensing and conformer coding in China. Yep. And we internationalized the whole portfolio. And uh, one and a half years ago, we introduced the MyC50 into the European, um, American, and also outside China, Asian market. What we have done now, because we saw a strong demand for a three applicator solution in Europe, mm -hmm. so customers want to have spray coders, selective coders, and also a gel applicator on the machine. Mm -hmm. And this is what we have introduced here, um, brand new, that you can have a three valve uh, conformer coding. And this gives us a chance to support any now imaginable conformer coding demand in the market, which is one of the growing areas uh, in, in Europe. So I, I can see that you've got a you've got a curtain coating valve in there. Uh, you've got a, a small needle valve there for for doing small parts. And then you say you have something for, for Just look. We have prepared it in a way ah. that we have it here for you outside of the machine. Okay. This gives a closer look for you. Okay. So these applicator can do gel, for example, to protect some certain areas mm -hmm. which have to be avoided for conformal coating material. Yep. You can do spray coating for larger areas and you can do selective specific coating in some of the more specific areas to be very careful in what to coat mm -hmm. and, what to, um, and what to save and protect from coating material. So, so this is acting like a, a masking type. Um, uh, it, 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 it's system. jelly. It's jelly the to gel. protect the areas uh, which should not get in touch with with the coating material which we provide here. Yeah? And, and that's how, how accurate are, are the um, are the valves? Are you getting nice tight line definition, or is there a lot of sp any spray or, or, or overlap? Mm -hmm. you, you can provide any accuracy needed. So mm -hmm. I think when you don't have too much uh, accuracy demand, you do spray coating mm -hmm. to gain time and be speedy. And when you have to be more precise and more selective, you can use in the more selective needles. coating applicator. Yeah, yes. And you can go up to needles. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is a good combination when you have to go for speed and uh, a broad spray coater, or when you have to go for a more selective one, we have to be more careful. Right. Mm -hmm. And that was a strong demand we saw from our customers when we introduced the Axon portfolio. Mm -hmm. And the answer is now out here with our three applicator which we have introduced. Yeah. Well, one of the strengths you, you uh, obtained with that acquisition, of course, was the very large uh, valve portfolio that you, kept, you got with Axon. I mean, unlike a lot of the dispensing companies have a very limited valve range. Uh, Axon has a very, very wide range. Yeah, yeah that, that's what we saw, and that's exactly how you point out the, the reason why we looked at this at Axon, invested in Axon, mm -hmm. because uh, we see that 
there are so many different applications mm. and none of the existing valves can support all of them. Right. You have to be very diverse in your portfolio. And uh, beside to the, the pick and placing, beside to jet printing where we have been strong, we want to have the strong legs in being able to support any dispending application which comes across from customers. And this is what we could achieve. Yeah. There's a very broad range of, um, of applicators from auger waves to needle waves to spray coders to specific se selective uh, mm -hmm. jelly coders. We can do all, as you know, we can do all the, the solder paste deposition with the My 700. Yeah. And this combines a full, full, full portfolio. The demand for this pending is increasing. And uh, whenever a customer comes to us, we want to give them solutions. Mm -hmm. And this is what we can do now with our broad range of platforms, mm -hmm. which we can combine with our VEVs. Excellent, excellent. Well, I, I certainly want to congratulate you on the, the strategy you've done so far. And uh, thank you for showing us the latest um, coders and valves today. Thank you, Trevor. It's my pleasure.